to another Moz Play video. This is Moz Mojito, and today we're going to be picking up where we left off with Anno 1800. Let's get to it. Alright guys, so we're back, and where we last left off, Uncle Edward was still giving us a hard time as we left this city and he pretty much took over our family business and now we're trying to duplicate what we have here for the family business which the big city and everything onto our new island where we escaped to so um, one of our missions was to find a relative over here find your cousin leading a mob and then bring him back over to your island so he can help out uh, with bringing more workers so that you can expand your town. So that's what we're over here doing now. We're just uh, gonna zoom in and out, see if we can find the areas where there are some protesters marching and holding up picket signs. This city will be a credit to our family. You'll see. A competitor raised a settlement. We'd rather die than stay. Our flags still wave for Samuel. Let Edvard oppress us no more! Okay, so with that little cutscene, we now know what we're looking for. Large groups of uh, crowds walking around protesting. As you can see, when I clicked on that crowd, I got a 1 out of 5. So I got 4 more large crowds to find that are walking around yelling and screaming and picketing kind of hear it in the background noise once I get all five crowds selected that should complete this quest nothing's ever easy A life away from Edvard? We're on board. Only, we've no shit to get on board of. If you pick me, you may have my boat. It's my poor aunt's legacy. Her second husband was a decent sailor. Good. I, I, I shiver at the thought of staying here another second. What? All right. Has your so with cleft that mass the family no workers, shame that it now resorts to abducting my workers? The Queen's ambassador himself I, 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 shall hear that. Edward this. still being a a um, nemesis to us as we try to establish Abduction our uh, colony, is a severe but at accusation. We ship. And if I and may, uh, one excuse me, like. a false one. 
We left Edvard quite willingly. Pencil polishing, Popinjay. I should have been rid of you long ago. I see nothing criminal. A bit of interfamilial bickering is only natural, <laughs> and hardly a matter for the crown. And as for you, I have quite forgotten my manners. Sir Archibald Blake, ambassador and confidant to the Queen. Despite the circumstances, Her Majesty and I were pleased to hear of your return. Your father's death was a tragedy. We regret he never had the chance of a fair trial. The real tragedy here is the vast funeral bill that goes unpaid, while this brat is living the life of O'Reilly. Sadly, your uncle has indeed alerted me to some uh, floating liabilities. I fear you have no choice but to settle them if I am to grant you your crown shipping license. Edvard registered the debt officially. Don't worry. That old tyrant can't hold us back anymore. Indeed. Once my letterpress is up and running, the truth will come back to haunt Edvard. Uh, for your hospitality, please use my ship howsoever you may wish. Now that sounds like good news. As to the debt, my hands are tied, but it may warm Her Majesty's heart to see a new enterprise taking shape. Maybe Edvard will try to prevent us owning a shipyard, but for now, let's at least house those workers. Now that we have our ship, we have a means to go around and pick up these things floating in the water. So that allows us to bring these back to our town, to our port, and uh, help us out in the, in the end. Looks like uh, there's some, some lumber and some other supplies here that we're able to pick up. So that's going to help us out a lot as we try to build up our town.
do reach a new milestone. All right, Age of Industrialization. So we now have enough products being created where we can actually offer new luxuries to a new class of worker. With several passionate young reporters enlisted, our so publishing no house is already farm. well underway. Workers can handle stubborn debris on ditch water. If it's to be the center of our new enterprise, it needs to be immaculate. Our dream of a shipyard is impossible without plenty of qualified hands. Our editorial section is sure to grow along with your city. We are fine-tuning the first issue as we speak. Alright, so we got our paths highlighted. Uh, every time we click on a building, uh, there's an idea of if we got a clear route uh, for the houses that need those supplies or not. So that's going to help us out. And we'll keep an eye on that for any road blockages or any extensions that we need to make in order to make sure that our supplies are going to be. If you pop off now, you'll be back in time for tennis. Buckaroo! Her Majesty has little patience. I'd skip to it if I were you. Resting.
right, so we got a nice little community here. All the empty areas are filled in with like some gardens or some trees, some shrubbery. And um, we got our consistent rolls of either three, uh, two rolls of three houses. I sometimes like to do uh, two rolls of four houses, you know. But right now, we're doing um, three by two squares of houses. I've seen other people do like four by two. If I can do four by two, I'm gonna try it out, but uh, I just gotta make sure I have the supply roads in between uh, nice and even. So these houses don't have any kind of supply path right now, so we're gonna try to take care of that. Honestly? don't have to be a fancy way. Alright, so we got a nice little path over to the northern section of the island now. Two paths, so there's some resources up there. But at this point, we're going to go ahead and put a bookmark in the video. Come back and continue to try to expand our town and hopefully pay off at worst. So as usual, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe because it really helps out the channel. And we will see you in the next video.